that I started the company. And then after that, there was a Whole Foods store that was opening in Detroit. At the time, this was a big deal because Whole Foods were only mm -hmm. in suburbs at that time. So Whole Foods in, Met in the city of Detroit was the very first Whole Foods to ever open in the country in an inner city. And so it was national news. It was a big deal. This was in 2013. And so I all I had at the time was my little packaging I had created. Um, it looked like it had been created in somebody's bedroom because it had. And it was, it looked real janky. Like, I wish I could show you the, the original package. I got it somewhere around here, but it was it was pretty terrible. I thought it was okay, but it, I'm not a graphic designer, but I had, I didn't have the money to pay a graphic designer. I did it myself, right? Mm -hmm. I started where I was and I marched myself down to that whole food store that I knew was opening and I asked for a meeting and I got the meeting and I pitched mm -hmm. and I got my products at Whole Foods. So it was only one Whole Foods store though that I got into originally. And, but I marketed that like it was every Whole Foods. I'm like, we at Whole Foods now, y'all. And like, you know, I was like, I was bigging it up, you know. I never said, I never lied. I never said we're in every Whole Foods or we're in, but I just said we're in Whole Foods, which is not a lie. Just completely, For sure. you know. And so that then allowed people to see me as an actual brand, as opposed to being like, mm -hmm. oh, this, this is a cute little hobby she got at her house, right? It, people took me serious at that mm. point. Um, and then once I got that, I started milking it. I would go to Whole Foods every day at 12. Now I live about 30 minutes from that Whole Foods, but I was down there every day at noon because right next to that Whole Foods is a hospital. And those people who work at the hospital will always go to Whole Foods for lunch at noon. So I was, mm. I would get my table, the same table I took to Easter market. I would take it and I would set up shop and I would vend right by the registers. And I would, I would just sit there and I would talk to him about it and I would tell him about the product. And I'm like, hey, you about to go check out anyway. You might as well buy this. And um, that's like, yeah, I was hustling, you know? And so again, it's just about grinding, believing in yourself and actually going to get stuff done and not like sitting on your hands, like waiting for somebody to come save you because nobody's coming to save you.